Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water inlet valve in a Frigidaire refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, a flat blade screwdriver, and a 3 8 open inlet range. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water inlet valve and the testing instructions. The water inlet valve is located at the rear of the refrigerator at the bottom left corner. It supplies water to the ice maker and to the water fountain. There are several symptoms of a failed valve. No water in the ice maker or at the fountain, dripping water from the dispenser, overflowing of the ice maker, or a water leak from the valve housing. So here we are at the back of the refrigerator and we need to remove this access panel in order to get it apart. We need to take out these four quarter inch screws. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. I'm going to take it out one by one. And then pull it out. All right, so in order to remove the water inlet valve, we need to take out these two quarter inch screws. I'm using a uh, quarter inch nut driver. And we're going to take them out. And now I'm going to pull it out. At this point, I would like to install this towel on the floor because we're going to have water definitely coming out of these uh, tubes and this little uh, container for the same purpose. And I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to pry off these uh, four plugs. They are color coded. So it will make it a little easier than to connect them. Put it aside. We need to remove these five water lines. I'm using a uh, 3 8 uh, open end range. I'm going to press on this locking collars here. Press in and we can pull out the line. And this next. <coughs> Gonna remove this uh, clip here. And I'm gonna take out the this yellow line. And uh, that's the last one here. This is the old water inlet valve next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. All right, I'm going to remove this plastic container. We don't need it anymore. Still uh, keep the towel. It's going to drip a little bit. And we're going to install the new valve. So we're going to start with placing that line. This, uh, clear line into this port at the at the back very back and press it in all the way then uh, the color of this valve is green so we're gonna pull out the green line place it in And now we have a blue one here, and we're going to look for the blue line and put it in. And we have a yellow here at the back, right there, and we're going to place this yellow in. And 
and now we have this uh, brown coil in the tan color waterline. All right, so we got all this. Next, I'm going to clip this uh, tube onto the yellow line and uh, fish out these uh, plugs. I'm going to bring it in. And we're going to plug in all this, uh, all these plugs. Uh, it will be easy because we've got the colors. So that was on the, and this on the last one. That's, I don't know what color would it be, yellowish. And uh, then we go to the green. And to the blue. And the brown color. And I'm going to place this inside. And we're going to mount the water valve. And there's uh, two holes. We're going to align them and uh, install a couple of uh, quarter screws using the nut driver. So this protective cap should be removed when you're going to be ready to install the inlet hose. Just uh, pull it up. So now I feel pretty safe and we can remove the towel. And now I'm going to install the rear access panel. I'm going to pull out this uh, power cord and insert the panel in at the bottom. The power cord will be in this cutout. And then I'm going to match the holes here and secure it with the four quarter inch screws. I'm going to use a quarter inch screwdriver. And I'm going to secure the panel. So what's left to do is to connect this uh, water inlet valve to the inlet hose. Plug the fridge in, open the water and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.